We are back 843 with a guy who just snagged another Emmy to add to his collection. Bradley Whitford, of course. We all know him from his roles on the West Wing, Get Out, Handmaid's Tale now. Well, now he's hitting all of the right notes in the new NBC comedy, Perfect Harmony. Bradley plays Arthur, a former choir professor who feels like there's nothing left to live for. But a chance encounter with a small town church choir might be just what he needs. This is hell. I guess I had that coming. That was quite a bender you were on, Art. It's Arthur. How do you know my name? We looked through your wallet after we rested your pants off. You paid so much. Now, you put up quite a fight. Luckily, I'm huge. I shouldn't be here. Bradley Woodford, good to see you. Good to, I watched the first episode. This is a funny show. Thanks. It's been an absolute joy, an absolute blast. We have an amazing cast. Uh, Anna Camp is in this, who is just a relentless uh, delight. Will Greenberg, Timberly Hill, uh, uh, it, 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 a bunch of great actors, and it's really been Fun. Do you sing? Can, can, <laughs> can you sing? Uh, he's. Uh, you're gonna. You're gonna see me sing. Oh. Uh, at some. Uh, at some point, I am the choir director. I am not the. You know, performer. Yeah. It's not about my voice. But yeah, music is a part of the show. This and is for th- some reason I did a striptease. The, oh, one. this. This is not the Bradley Whitford, by the way. I think a lot of folks have come to know. This is not Josh Lyman. This is not the Lieutenant. This. This is a funny Bradley Whitford. What. What prompted the change? Uh, I was, I'm always looking uh, to find a comedy, and uh, this thing, uh, land, it, 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 the fun part of this guy is uh, we're, he's got a bright future behind him. He's a broken dude, and it, uh, uh, it creates uh, an opportunity for an irascible uh, guy to connect with these people he never would be connecting with otherwise. And you're also the executive producer on this as I, well. Uh, yeah, they call me boss. I don't the, know. Do they call you boss on set? <laughs> the, cat, the cast members call me boss. But we have other great uh, producers there. I, I feel like uh, I'm sort of the producer of the acting department. It's, it's, you hear the concept. I mean, musical comedies are not... You know, wildly popular on television right now. I mean, I, well, what's what's interesting about this is uh, uh, this has a real kind of Parks and Rec feel yes. with this musical element. Kind of meets The Office. Yeah, yeah, it's very much like The Office. You know, it's not like Glee, where where the main dish uh, was the music. The comedy uh, is the is is the entree, and the music is just sort of a joyous side dish. But it's a wonderful story of these radically different human beings uh, finding a way to sort of connect and find community through humor and uh, making music together. Congrats are in order, by the way, on yet another Emmy. Outstanding uh, guest actor. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. How many Emmys do you have now? Uh, uh, how many do I have? Yeah, uh, you've lost track. <laughs> no, uh, I, I, I have three. And, and you're also, as I understand it at least, the first actor in history to win a Guest Actor Emmy for both a drama and a comedy. Yes, that, uh, that is true. I was not aware of that until uh, I, uh, I read about it. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm thrilled about it. I love this part on uh, Handmaid's Tale. It means a lot to me. And uh, my biggest fear was that I was going to diminish the show. Your first <laughs> Emmy, 2001, yes. um, Josh Lyman, Deputy Chief of Staff for President Bartlett, one of my favorite shows in, in, in history. Thank you. I did not realize until you were on stage at the Emmys with Jimmy Smith that it had been 20 years since the premiere of West Wing. There's always talk of these reboots and shows coming back. Could the West Wing, could it exist in, in the times in which we live? I think Aaron Sorkin is reticent, uh, justifiably reticent, because it might be seen as more of a partisan thing than it was seen before, just because of the way that we are uh, dealing with each other in this world right now. Um, But I pick up the newspaper every day and think, uh, wow, there's another West Wing episode. So... Who knows? Who knows? Could come back. Before I let you go, the orange ribbon on your lapel. Yeah, this is uh, uh, Jamie Gutenberg uh, was uh, a kid who was uh, killed uh, in Parkland, uh, and her dad, uh, Fred Gutenberg, uh, is working on gun issues. Um, and I'm telling you, I wear this. When I, when I go to those award shows, I, I always I recognized 
uh, in her. I recognized my daughter, who is also a dancer, and I recognized one of those really interesting creative kids. Uh, and when you go to the Emmys, there are all these people who have the opportunity to be there in front of the camera, behind the camera. Um, uh, and I just want people to remember that some people have lost that opportunity and that we need to do something to stop uh, this, this carnage in our schools. Bradley Whiffer, thank you. Congrats on the new show, my friend. Thank you, thank you. Thank By the you. way, Great to see you. the series premiere tonight, Perfect Harmony, 8.30, 7.30 Central, only on NBC, and at some point in the series, he will sing. Up next, 